This is the most dangerous problem in mathematics. Here's how it works. Pick a number, seven, good choice. We're gonna apply two rules. If the number is odd, we multiply by three and add one. Three times seven is 21, plus one is 22. If the number is even, we divide by two. Oh, okay, so this video is about something called the Collatz conjecture, meaning that there's no known proof. That being said, I think it's generally accepted to be true. And since the conjecture's been around so long, I think the proof is thought to be very, very hard and probably uses branches of math that may not even exist yet. 22 divided by two is 11. Now we keep applying these two rules. 40, which is even, so we divide by two, 20, divide by two, 10, divide by two, five, odd. Multiply by three, 15, add one, 16, divide by two, that's eight, and then four, two, and one. Now one is odd, so we multiply by three and add one, which equals four. Oh, so now they're in this four, two, one loop at the end of the Collatz conjecture. And I bet he's about to state this, but the Collatz conjecture says that if you start with any positive integer and apply these two rules as applicable, you will end up in this four, two, one loop. And in fact, the Collatz conjecture has been checked up to, well, over 10 to the 20, which may seem like it's closer to being proven than if it was just checked up to the number 25. But in fact, a mathematician does not view it like that. Checking it up to 10 to the 20 doesn't really provide a ton more evidence than checking it up to like 100,000 or a million. Because at some point, there's not likely to be a counterexample. Checking things numerically after a point where there's not likely to be a counterexample is really just an exercise in refining algorithms and perhaps more useful for the study of algorithms and not the study of this conjecture. That being said, what I think is pretty interesting about this conjecture is that it's so easy to state, but it's so seemingly difficult to prove. Okay, so let's see how they finish off the video. But four goes to two goes to one. So we're in a loop, and the lowest yeah. number is one. And now they're talking about one. this loop. Now the conjecture is this. Every positive integer... Well, and now they're about to state the conjecture that I just stated. Uh, I guess they didn't get around one. to saying why this was the most dangerous problem in math, but my guess would be that it's just to have a little bit of clickbait for YouTube. So I'm probably guilty of this as well. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know about more videos you'd like me to react to.